On today's show, Ford could introduce a pickup smaller than the Ranger in the U.S. Toyota increases the range of its fuel cell semi-truck, and Harley-Davidson introduces a new range of motorcycles it hopes will turn the company around. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily, the show dedicated to enthusiasts of the global automotive industry. BMW is expanding its manufacturing footprint in Europe. The company announced it's building a 1 billion euro or about 1.2 billion dollar facility in Hungary. The plant will have the capacity to build 150,000 vehicles a year and will be capable of producing both combustion and electrified vehicles on the same line. However, BMW did not reveal which models will be built at the new plant. You know, Americans love their trucks and it seems like there's always room for them to get bigger. Chevy announced that the 2019 Silverado's bed will have a significantly increased volume compared to the outgoing model. The Silverado's short and standard boxes will have 10 more cubic feet than their respective 2018 models, and the 2019's long box will gain 14 cubic feet. That will make it the largest pickup bed on the market. Chevy also says it will be made of higher strength steel and the bed floor materials will be improved. Other improvements include stronger, more accessible tie-downs and larger cutouts in the bumper for steel-toed boots. The 2019 Silverado will be available this fall. Lexus announced pricing for the 2019 ES sedan. It starts at $39,500, which is $550 more than the outgoing model. The ES300H will have 215 horsepower, get 44 miles to the gallon, and will cost just over $41,000. As for the other trims, the ES350 is powered by a 3.5 liter V6, good for 302 horsepower and 25 mpg. And the performance trim, called the ES350F Sport, will start just over $44,000. Still to come, Harley-Davidson introduces a new range of motorcycles. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone Tires, your journey, our passion. Dow Automotive Systems, advanced materials that deliver better results. And by Lear, a global leader in automotive seating and electrical systems. You know, it was a sad day when I learned the Hyundai Santa Cruz pickup would compete in the midsize truck segment but it seems like Ford could fill that void. Reports are starting to swirl that the automaker will launch a pickup smaller than the Ranger in the U.S. market by 2022. It would be built on the next generation Focus platform and could be called the Courier, a name used most recently on a Fiesta-based model for Europe and Brazil. Ford was late to the game getting the Ranger into the midsize segment, and it looks like it doesn't want to make the same mistake twice. Harley-Davidson is looking to attract a new generation of riders and is showing off some interesting new products. Three new motorcycles will spawn from a modular middleweight platform with four engine displacements, ranging from 500cc to 1250cc. Harley will enter the Adventure Touring class for the first time with a bike called the Pan America, which is shown here with a 1250cc engine. There's also a custom model, again with a 1,250cc engine, and a 975cc street fighter model, which is a sport bike. These models are planned to launch beginning in 2020, but additional models will follow through 2022. And expanding on its Livewire motorcycle, which comes next year, Harley will expand its no-clutch, quote, twist-and-go portfolio of electric two-wheelers. Expect to see those through 2022. And be sure to check out our coverage of the Center for Automotive Research's MBS conference. John is talking to the experts about new technology trends and the issues the auto industry faces. Look for those interviews throughout the week on our website, autoline.tv. And coming up next, Toyota gives its fuel cell semi truck a big boost in range. Toyota just unveiled its second fuel cell semi-truck, and it's got an estimated 300-plus miles of range. 
The truck is known internally as Beta and is an improvement on Toyota's first fuel cell semi-truck known as Alpha. Alpha has 200 miles of range and makes 670 horsepower and 1,325 pound-feet of torque from two Mirai fuel cell stacks and a 12 kilowatt hour battery. Since commencing operations in 2017, Alpha has been driven almost 10,000 miles doing shipping runs in the ports of Long Beach and Los Angeles. Beta will begin operating in California this fall. And in other big truck news, Uber announced it's stopping development of autonomous semi-trucks and will just focus on self-driving cars. But even though Uber won't continue to pursue automated trucks, they'll be one of the first vehicles seen on a widespread basis with autonomous technology since they will mostly be driven on predictable highway routes instead of busy urban environments. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and please join us again tomorrow.